For many, the news is as bleak as the building. The Beats and Cancer Centre is just one of the places where Glaswegians are sat down to be told that they have the illness. But after receiving £1.4 million from Cancer Research UK, researchers here are now studying to create a new treatment for prostate cancer. At the end of the day, prostate cancer patients we hope will be treated differently. Instead of treating them all with the same drugs, what we'll do is at the point of diagnosis we'll take the tumour and maybe some additional samples, maybe some sophisticated blood tests um, and we'll test that patient's individual tumour so that we can understand exactly which drugs are likely to work for that patient so that we can actually get, get the right drug for the right patient at the right time. Glasgow has a long history of treating cancer and is the lead on this project in a team of researchers from London, Belfast and Manchester. But prostate cancer is the most common for men, with 47,000 diagnosed every year. Professionals warn that it could be a long time before we see this research have an impact. Um, it's hormone dependent, that's very much how prostate cancer works, it uh, feeds on the amount of um, testosterone. So. That's very early stages, that process. I think it will be be something that will be wonderful, it will be very good once they get there, but it's going to take a long time for them to be able to um, develop that kind of treatment. Once a cancerous tumour breaches the prostate, it can spread to other organs. This study wants to decrease the chance of that happening and may prove a vital tool in the battle against cancer.